Hi, it's Paul from Model Builder International. Um, don't forget, subscribe button is down there, that way you'll get notified of all the new stuff. Today we're going to have a look at a new book from Kagero, just a little book. This one is a mini top colours all about captured panzers. Okay, so let's have a look inside the book, see what we get. So this is a mini Top Colours uh, series book, uh, uh, number 39. Uh, decals by Cartographer inside, and captured panzers. Um, basically German vehicles and allied service, an easy way to do it. Um, decals for all 16 painting schemes. Now these books are quite thin. You can see there, I think there's 18 pages, something like that. But you get a decal sheet to cover everything. Um, so you can even think of it as a, a regular decal sheet with um, enhanced instructions if you want. Let's have a, a look see. So here's the decal sheet. And I'll put a full scan of this up on the website. But there's 135th, 148th, 172nd. So basically all 16 uh, schemes are covered in all three armour scales and um, they're done by Cartograph as well so they're bound to be pretty good um, yeah so that's that and then we have go through the vehicles themselves um, Panzer II from North Africa captured by US forces a uh, SDKFZ-222, used by the Royal Air Force in North Africa for airfield defence. A lot of these, it's, it's a really good way to um, do something different with German armour that you might have. A Hetzer uh, from the Warsaw Uprising. Um, there's obviously a Panther uh, used by the French. And all of these, the, should you say, they're photographic evidence that these existed. None of them are made up. Um, but as to whether they actually saw, should you say, action against their previous owners is another question altogether. Like I remember in this one, it was um, uh, basically captured, put back into working service, but then it was buried underneath a, a, uh, the post office collapsed and buried it, so we didn't actually see any action. And then over here we've got a Panzerwerfer 42, another Panther, both of these were used, uh, one was used by French forces, this one was used um, by British forces. Um, another uh, Panther used by the Americans, a Panzer IV. Uh, this one was used up by three, three French horses up by Saint Nazaire. A uh, uh, SDKFZ251 used as an ambulance. And a lot of these were uh, used. Um, Panther used by Russian forces. Um, they had some units where they actually, like the, this particular unit had seven Hummels, two Vespers, and four Stug Fours, and two Panthers. So basically that was um, a self-propelled artillery regiment using uh, purely German armour. Uh, the French one, again around Saint-Nazaire. Uh, this is a British one. Another SDK is a 251. And another 251 used by French, Free French Forces. And then a 250 um, used, what was this one? Czech Territory 1945. And then a, a Stug 3 of the, was it the 5th Independent Self Propelled Artillery, 6th Infantry Division, Poland 1945 used by Polish troops. And then on the very back here you have the last one, the uh, Panzer IV J, used by 
Polish forces. Um, this one actually lasted until um, what in the 50s somewhere where it's used as a target. But um, yeah, so there's 16 really good ideas there for something alternative to do for your German armour. End of the war captured uh, units sort of thing. And you get an excellent decal sheet in whatever scale you do your armour in. Um, it'll work, so pretty neat. There's a link on the website. There's a link to the website underneath the video and on there I've put a link to Kagero's website and a few more images of things as well. So many thanks to Kagero for sending it along for us to have a look at.